Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to the sixth episode of the Pile Trailer Rebuild series. It's not quite looking like a pile anymore. So when we left off in the last episode, I had the tires to mount to the wheels and some other odds and ends that I needed to do. Well, I've since done that. I've got the new tires on the painted wheels and I painted the axles and I put it back up under the trailer. So today we've got to finish some odds and ends and I've done a little bit of stuff since that last episode and I want to bring in and show you what I've done. And I also figured out the angle grinder. Um, I think it was flooded. Lola, are you feeling up to welding today? Come here, Lola. I don't think she's into welding today again. It's hard to get good help. So here are the new tires, and I've also mounted the fenders on it. Uh, and that was a little more difficult than I had expected. I put a four and a half inch block in between here. Just, just set a wooden block on top of the tire to the underside of the fender. And then I centered that, that distance right there on either side of the tire. So once I had that kind of balancing in place, then I just took a piece of three quarter inch angle and welded that to the frame. And then I welded it or tacked it along the front and back sides of the fender. Now, the issue that I had is I actually had to hold the fender away from the frame a little bit. You see this gap right here? That's a one inch gap. Uh, and the reason I had to do that is because when I put this fender, the back side of the fender, all the way tight to the frame of the trailer, it actually had too much tire kind of poking out beyond and, and I didn't want that. So I'm gonna fill in that one inch gap with a piece of one inch angle iron. And I'm also gonna cap the back sides of the fenders because I can just picture if you're hauling something in the back of the trailer and it ends up contacting the tire that could that could end badly. Whenever you weld in from heavier gauge to thinner gauge, always start your weld puddle or start or focus your heat on the thicker metal and kind of, I guess, push it onto the thinner metal, if that makes sense. So some of the things that we have left to do to finish this up are put those inner liners on the fenders like I just showed you. We also need to put down the decking on the, of the trailer. And I want to thank you guys for participating and giving me your suggestions and your input. Um, it's kind of even pretty much down the board so far. Um, I am going to actually go with metal. I'm going with a number nine raised expanded metal. And the reason for that is it's actually a little bit cheaper than the wood going to be lighter uh, and that was really my my focus on this so I'm going to go with expanded metal and the tip that I just gave you on welding from a thicker metal to a thinner metal is going to apply exactly to the expanded metal you're going to want to start your weld out on the thicker metal and kind of work it on to the thinner metal which is the expanded metals we also need to make a tailgate and for that uh, I'm going to use one by one by eighth inch square tubing and we also need to what else get the wiring done and we need to get the safety tow chains on so let's start with the safety tow chains I'm going to put it through the safety chain itself okay and then we're going to attach it like this and weld that link at the bottom and then on the other end we're going to have one of these little doohickeys It fit on the piece I tried, then that'll go on that. And that fit on the other one I tried. What the hell? You just got to be, I guess, a little more persistent than I was. Maybe if I just beat the thing on there, it'll it'll work.
I've got the decking all tacked on. Let me bring you in and show you what it looks like. So up top, I went on every single one. And then as we went around the perimeter, I started doing, oh, I don't know, every two or three holes. And I didn't do the back yet because I want to hold off until I do the tailgate. But you see how these ribs are like this. What I want to do is I want to take these ribs and fold them over flat so that you don't have that little sharp point right there. So uh, before I do this though, I haven't quite figured out how we're going to do the tailgate. So I'm just holding off on doing any tacks along this, but yeah. just started to pour so it looks like we got to go inside and cut these templates out holy It stopped raining, let's try this again. So do you remember I said whenever you weld from thicker metal to thinner metal that it becomes difficult? Well, it's even more difficult welding thinner metal to thinner metal. And you can see right here, I actually blew through it. Focus, right there. I actually blew through that. So I'll have to just grind it down. But let me show you the insides of the, of the fender wells. But other than that, everything welded up pretty well. You can see all the, I just did pretty much one inch beads about every two inches. I did the same thing inside, pretty much a one inch bead. And I think that one or that one, I think it's the one that I blew through. I can't remember which one it was, but 
and of course all that white powder that's just uh, that's just all the flux from the wire so we'll wire brush that down and clean it up. So let me bring you in a little bit closer and show you what we're going to be doing with this tailgate. So this tailgate's going to be going right along the back here and what's going to happen is is I'm going to have a hinge right at the very bottom and then that'll be able to fold down and on this side of it here I'm going to do this same expanded metal. So what I did was is I 45 mitered uh, the top corners and I put the bar on the bottom on the inside and the reason for that is, is if you completely close this all in you're going to end up creating moisture and rust so that'll allow this tube all the way around to hopefully vent out and for this bottom tube I'll put a little pinhole on each side at the bottom probably just a little small quarter inch hole and that'll allow any moisture or condensation that builds up in here to circulate so the next thing that we've got to do is I've got to cut some expanded metal to weld onto this. So stay tuned for the next episode where we get the hinges on, we finish up the tailgate, finish up the wiring, get the trailer lights on, and hopefully get some primer on this thing because I'm really excited to tow it. If this is something that you like, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to have some burgers on the grill. See ya. Come, come.